It's the last stand. And here is your host, Brian Custer. That's right, it is the last stand. I'm Brian Custer. We bring you the biggest names in the sport. Uh, joining me today is one of the top fighters at 168 pounds. My guest is a two-time, two-weight division world champion. It's me again, Demetrius Andrade. What's oh, up, yeah. man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. 154, WBO, WBA, 160, WBO. Now I'm looking to get that green thing at 168 versus David Benavides, and this is a massive fight. This is massive. This is massive. This is, massive. This is the biggest fight that you can fucking put together this year. So November 25th, Showtime pay-per-view. How did it come about? Um, just me being able to, you know, get away from everybody and be able to write my own storyline at pretty much the tail end of my career and say, hey, I'm free. I'm looking to fight whoever is willing to fight, and I have nothing holding me back, stopping me. There's no politics. There's no um, um, network issues. There's no issues. Yeah. There's no issues. Was that the issue in the past, you think? I, don't, I will say no, because I've been on networks with other top fighters, and they still didn't want to make it happen. But that was over there. Over here at Showtime, they put on the greatest fights. And they're continuing to do that, and now I'm part of making that one of those fights happen this year. So it's going to be great. You know, and you, you've mentioned this for the longest. You've been demanding big fights. Um, guys have been avoiding you for a number of reasons. Do you believe all of that talk goes away after this fight? Of course it goes away. It goes it's right now. It's, 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 the talk's over. Yeah. For for us to get through the finish line, to be here talking about it and that it got announced. And like I said to David, I'm glad we got over like the hurdles of like, you know, the contract stuff and still whatever, but we're here. We, I wanted to make it, make it happen. I wasn't shying away. And so at the end of the day, where else is he gonna go? Where else I'm gonna go? Sit back and wait for Canelo? It's, 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 that's impossible. Mm. Is this the and biggest? This ain't the movie Tom Cruise. <laughs> is this the biggest fight of your 15 year career? Yeah, of course it is. You know, this is um, this is definitely like the Super Bowl. This is definitely it right here. You know, there's no um, listen. Every fight matters. Every fight I had led me to this point. Every fight, um, you know, gave me the lessons and the learning opportunities to move forward in my career and get myself better. But this fight here is really going to bring the best Andrade out because I know what this. What's on the line? There's a lot on the line here. You know, everything's on the line out here. All the marbles. This is this is the undisputed fight in itself. Benavidez said this thing is going to be a war. Realistically, what kind of fight do you think is going to be fought stylistically on the 25th? I think it's going to be a little bit more, a little more impact than planting uh, Benavides. More than that. Yeah. More than that. Is more that than Chalo and Canelo. More than that. More than that. A lot more than that. I was going to ask you about What did you think about Charlo Canelo? I mean, from the jump, I thought it was a mismatch because, you know, weight does matter. Look, yeah. you know, look like, I don't know if Benavidi's been in the gym, but he looks a little fat there, boy. He looks like he has a lot of weight to come off. But that's good. That works in my favor yeah. because I'm in shape. I'm ready to go. Um, if he's going to struggle and he wants to be heavy and it's going to be a struggle for him to make weight. And so that works in my favor. But also, me coming up, I only had one fight at 168 pounds. Yeah. And, but... At the end of the day, I know this is the biggest fight to be made, so let's make this happen. I wanted to get like one or two wins, but the time doesn't work that way. Time works now, so I'm here now. Let's make this fight happen and let's get it on. So I was watching so, some of your past fights, Boo Boo, and I kept listening to the commentary. And you've knocked guys down, but haven't finished them. Can you do that against Benavidez? I think the extra weight and um, that I'm putting it on and the muscle and just knowing that at the end of the day, this is boxing. Yeah, I put the dudes down. I was explaining to some people just because, you know, I have 20 knockouts, so I didn't knock people out. I didn't put everybody down. Um, sometimes just come to a point where it's like, yo, man gotta eat, man gotta live. He can't do nothing. Let me just entertain. Let me show how my boxing skills play in now. Let me show how technical I can be, how my mind works, how all that stuff happens. Um, and, and that's what boxing is about. And so I show that. I show the diverse tools that I have all the time. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I can carry and fight and win every single round. Interesting. Um, Tim Bradley said this. 
Talking about Benavidez, I think his biggest issue in this fight is going to be his footwork. Feel that he has terrible footwork, squares up often. I feel like a fighter with Andrade's skill set and experience, he's going to expose that. Come forward, pick his shots wisely, be elusive. Uh, he's elusive on defense as well. Make that guy miss. I think we're going to see a better version of Benavidez if he's going to pull off this win. But I'm telling you now, do not count out Andrade. He's a sneaky, sneaky fighter, well-schooled boxer, and has what it takes to outbox Benavidez. Yeah, of course I do. Um, Timothy Bradley knows boxing, should I say. He knows what he's talking about. But it's easier said than done. Mm. But I know I've been doing this for a long time as well. You know, I've been in professional 15 years now. Yeah. Uh, haven't been hurt, haven't been like hurt bad. Yeah. Um, haven't been down, you know. People be like, oh, he got knocked out by Nivin. Nah, come on. You know what I'm saying? This, 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 you can never go to a, a fight and say Demetrius Andre has been hit yeah. hard yeah. and down and he's all over the place. So, um, biggest thing I'm that he fresh. has that you have to watch out for because he, he seems like in the second half of the fight, he overwhelms guys. Biggest thing that he has that you have to watch out for on the 25th. Um, I, I'm gonna just keep it as that. That's cool, but I have that is something that is just going to be his natural instinct. So I'm I'm going to study, I'm going to learn, I'm going to figure out how to keep him from even getting to that point. Mm. And if he does, the fight's all, I'm, I must be winning. And all I got to do is use my IQ and pick the shots and do exactly what Timothy Bradley said. Mm. Um, uh, and you, that's exactly what the plan is. It, you, I've been walking into anything. You've confronted Canelo um, after one of his victories, and he told you, go fight somebody. Do you believe the winner of this fight gets the Canelo fight? I don't know. Fuck Canelo. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, like, I know, listen. Because he's been like, avoiding both of you guys. Yeah, but... Like, at the end of the day, Canelo's career, my hat goes off to him. Um, he does what he does. He has the luxury to do whatever he wants to do. There's no, you can't tell me to go fight somebody and I can name a bunch of fighters, right, who you fought that hasn't fought nobody. Rocky Fielding, you the you you know what I'm saying? I, uh, um, uh, the last rider, rider, you know what I'm saying? Like, but at the end of the day, rider and these guys, they could be tough fighters. Some of them might not be, but that doesn't matter when you know my pedigree is Olympian, when you know my pedigree is world champion, when you know my pedigree is, you know, I can box your ass off. You feel me? Yeah. So therefore, it's like, okay, cool. I fight, beat David Benavides. Does that give me the Canelo fight? I don't know. We gotta go short, talk to the high ups and figure out how to force it. But you can't make two dogs fight unless they want it. Obviously, you have an undisputed champion in this weight division. Do you believe in your heart or heart, though, the winner of this fight is the best fighter at 168? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. And this is only my second fight at 168. <laughs> so I'm in, I'm in a good position here. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. So yeah, it's all good. Um, it's all good. What do you think of Jamal Charlo on this card fighting David's brother? Are you interested to see what Charlo looks like? I mean, yes, yes and no, because he's been out. He's been having issues. Um, I recently talked to him. I'm yep. glad he um, is like, you know, um, fixing his issues, his, his situation with his family and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Things are going in his well, in his way, and so that's that's a that's a great thing. And hopefully, that's getting his groove back to get back in the ring. I just think it's a big mis mismatch, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I, when I see Chalo, we ever get together, we have Chalo. I got a story, and he, okay. I, I got something. In it. But I want him to be here. To, okay, did you tell it? Yeah, I want him to be here. So just yeah, what? Yeah. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> but we saw you guys on Instagram live. He said he wanted to fight you. And I mean, do you think that fight will come about in the future? You, uh, that's where my story comes in. I okay. got a story. I got a story. Okay. I got a story. With Charlo. Before I retire. Yeah. <laughs> before his. his <laughs> we gonna figure that out. We gonna figure that out. What did you think about Caleb Plant smacking him at, at that, that Spence uh, Crawford weigh-in? I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was hilarious. Cause at the end of the day, like when I know I understand um, Chalo is you know going through his mental yeah, stuff, yeah. his family. Maybe he's a you know he started realizing and things and wasn't what it was yeah. and whatever glitters ain't gold yeah. and he's making different moves but when you was ignorant Charlo yeah. Yeah. when you was talking all that shit Charlo yeah. 
They ain't forget about. They ain't forget about that. <laughs> but you know, they, it's, 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 the yeah. proof is in the pudding. Yeah. You know, it's, um, people gotta hash things out one way or another. But I real, I, and I didn't really know the story. I guess like he was touching his face yeah, or something. Plant said he, he, we had him on the last day. And he said he pulled his beard and called yeah. him. You know. Something, something, white boy, and so he yeah. said, you know, you're getting, you're not gonna disrespect him like nah, that. Yeah, for sure, he should know better. Yeah, and, yeah. and I don't know, but it's, it's it's weird because it didn't happen at that moment. It happened yeah. like mo like month later. I mean, like hour, an hour later or something. Yeah. He just ran up to him, smacked him. Well, he, he, that was when he put talked plugged it in. Now he was making comments before, yeah, yeah. but then at that okay. time he went up and, and grabbed his beard. Oh, okay, okay. And that's when Caleb uh, said, I, "There was going to be no more. Yeah, 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 he, he had went. enough." <laughs> After this fight, realistically, what do you think people are going to be saying about Demetrius Andre as a fighter? I'm glad we, we got to, to be, I'm glad we was able to see who Demetrius Andre is. Mm. I'm glad we was able to see who Demetrius Andre is. You know, Clarissa Shields always talks about you as being the guy at 168. When, like, when we were talking about her and, and about Canelo and stuff, she was like, don't forget about Boo Boo. She's oh, yeah, always for says, sure. She always course. says that. Of course, man. Um, always says she that. knows she knows boxing. She knows I can fight. She's been in the gym with me. And um, at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, why, why, how, why, why, why are we forgetting about why if, why are you everybody avoiding this this fight? Yeah. If they're better than me. Um, you know the deal. We always let people submit questions through social media. Got a number of them for them. We'll just get to a few. A number she, of them. A number of them. Purist asks, after watching Charlo plant. Billy Joe Saunders, what style would you bring to a potential Canelo fight uh, that obviously hasn't been working in the past with the other guys? Yeah, I, just just my style alone is different. I'm more finesse. I, I got shot punches. I got looping punches. I got design punches for everything um, in every angle. Uh, you know, I can't really tell Canelo or the people so much because I might have to use it if it ever happens. I have okay. to use these things. Uh, Renee asks, do you feel apart from this fight, big fights are behind you at this point or are there big fights on the future you think after this one? I mean, I guess like um, how I look at it, this is definitely the big fight. Um, Chalo is definitely a, a good fight. Plant's definitely a good fight and Canelo's definitely a good fight. So those fights are still able to happen after this fight. So yeah. Uh, AJ asks, do you really think Canelo should take the winner of this fight? Of course. If he is the king. Mm. Yeah. If he doesn't, if he doesn't, who, who do you, he says, if he doesn't, who do you see him fighting? Somebody small, out this weight class. So he could be like, this Canelo, this Canelo, nobody beats this Canelo. <laughs> I'm 168 pounds, he 147 pounds, 140 pounds. He come up, and nobody beats this Canelo. I love it, yeah. Okay, we come to the last segment of the show. It is the last stand. I'm going to ask you a serious question. You just give me the first thing that comes to your mind. You ready? Yep, okay. In your opinion, pound for pound, best fighter in the world right now is who? That's tough. That's tough. Tyson Fury. Oh, wow. Okay, Tyson Fury. Uh, in your opinion, Who's the face of boxing right now? Canelo says it's him. Gervonta Davis says he's the new face of boxing. Who do you believe is the face of boxing right now? That's pretty tough too. Um, I think I think I think Gervonta Davis is. I will put it towards him. I think it's um, time for change, of course. Yeah, I think it's time for change. I think it's Gervonta Davis. His following is is massive. Um, Who's your favorite fighter right now? Who's the guy when he's fighting? He's like, I want to watch this. I like watching this guy fight. Yeah, I like um, Rashidi Ellis. I like Boots Ennis. Um, who else is out there? I've been paying. Um, I was paying attention to the Mendoza kid. Mm. Like those guys is like has their own style and their own way of um, capitalizing on people. Shakur Stevens, of mm -hmm. course. Um, yeah, there's some, great, okay. there's some great fight. There's some great fighters out there. In your heart of hearts, do you believe Canelo really wants to fight you? I mean, I have to say no because he never, you know, made his mark to fight me. When I was a WBO champion at 154, he was actually my mandatory. Mm. And then I got stripped for inactivity, and then my belt, you know, that means vacant. And so he fought Liam Smith mm. for it. When it was like, he, why didn't you just fight me? Yeah. Why, why didn't you just make that fight happen? Um, so at this point, I can only say no. Okay. More realistic fight for you next. David Morrell 
Jamal Charlo or Canelo Alvarez? It would have to be Charlo or Canelo. Okay. Last but not least, do you even get to eat anything for Thanksgiving? When you fight over Thanksgiving weekend, do you get to eat? I mean, like turkey, I mean, greens, mac, cheese, anything like that? I eat that tomorrow. I can eat that today. What are you talking about, man? What do you mean? What are you talking about? We, we fight over something I can have whatever I want. What do you mean, bro? I'm talking about, talk about over Thanksgiving. You fight over Thanksgiving weekend. So the weigh-ins on Friday. Look, my Thanksgiving dinner is going to be David Benavides, man. This is, I'm sitting. Yo, mommy's, aunties, and grand, like, yo, grand, yo, chill. I got this. I got yeah. the seasoning. I'm cooking up yeah. some shit, man. Yeah. Chill. Were you eat turkey and greens and all that stuff that weekend? I'm not really like a turkey guy. You okay. know what I'm saying? Whatever. I have my, you know. Okay. Things I like to, but greens, of course. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have a little meal. Okay. Yeah, I can okay. Okay. the next day, but yeah. you know, I'm slipping something real quick. A little La avocado. La last, but at least tell the people, everyone always has it. It's Andre, it's Andrade. It's, uh, tell the people. All right, so I am, oh, okay, my family is Cape Verdean. Yeah. On the map, Capo Verde, right? Yeah. In my country, they pronounce my last name as Andrade. Mm -hmm. And so when they see me as Andrade, uh -huh. that sounds pretty sexy to me. Yes. Right? And in America, is pronounced Andre. Yeah. So I get it. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, as long as you know it's me who you're talking about, it's, me again. it's, all, it's all good. So it's some me. people, hey, Mr. Andre, hey, yeah. how you doing? Cool. Hey, it's Andrade, hey, Mr. Andrade. It's all, it's all good. At the end of the day, um, um, in this fight, you know, last fight I said pronounce it Andre because yes. I was going against DeMar Nicholson. I was like, yeah, yeah man, just say Andre. Yes. Now I think Benavides is Andrade is the way to pronounce Andrade. this fight. We, we'll wrap it up with this. You already heard him say they, they plan on stopping you. It, it, I you, don't know they. Well, his father. Okay, cool. When you, when you think about this fight, do you, you, see, you see this fight going the distance? I, I definitely feel like I can hit him with shots where... You know, I can probably put him out, mm. for sure. And th it will do damage, and I think he will be surprised on the type of power and the movement I have, where he could want to take his time more, and it could go the distance. Um, you know, he's a big kid. Yeah. He is a big kid. Um, so I know I have to wear him down. I have to wear him down. So, so will they call, be calling you the Monster Slayer? Or do you have, you, will you have a new name, nickname after this? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely right now it's the Boogeyman versus the Monster. So I love it. I love that's it. That's what it is right now. Well, that's what we do here on The Last Stand. We bring you the biggest names in the sport. And at 168, this man right here is right there at the top, Demetrius Andre. Or if you're from American, Andre. Uh, Appreciate you, my brother. No, Good luck well, on the 25th. Yeah, for sure. God Thanks bless. for watching, everybody. We'll see you again next week. Oh, yeah, now.